Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How To's, and today what I wanted to do is do a quick video, well, maybe quick, I don't know, uh, kind of give you my insight to what's coming with Avaya and the CM product lines, as well as give you a quick overview of the differences between uh, our 5.1.2 and everything earlier than that versus our 6.0 and possibly anything that's coming out new, okay? So what I'm showing you right now is Basically, once you're in the PBX of either 5.1.2 or anything earlier, which this one is right here, this is actually a uh, list config soft. This is an R2 or release 12. And this one, list config soft, this one's an R6 or release 16. All right, so you can tell really once you're in the PBX, not much is different in the terms of administration, maintenance. Uh, you know, things like that. So list config all. <clears throat> you can see stuff in there. List config all. Again, once you're once you're in the PBXs, what you're used to seeing is pretty similar. Not much, not much difference, okay? Now, the reason I bring this up is because of the fact that Avaya was at VMworld 2012, which was held in August. And <clears throat> They're really looking at virtualizing things, and and you know it's taken a long time, but it's been a wish for Avaya, even when I was working there, that they wanted to really be a software company. They don't wanted, to, they didn't want to do anything with hardware anymore, and unfortunately, because of the customer base and and the way things the way things work, uh, that's not going to happen overnight. In fact, it's been ten years since I heard that. Well, ten years, ninety eight. Uh, so around 98 is when I started hearing about it, like, you know, we don't want to do hardware, blah, 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 blah. You know, that, that's always been a wish of theirs, I guess, which is fine because that that's a huge expense. Anyway, so they were at VMworld, so they're starting to make a presence known that they really want to start, um, uh, what do you call it? They really want to start investing their money into virtualizing things. And I put a Google search up here, and you can look, you can read more into this. Into, whoops, sorry. You can read more into this virtualization. Uh, just do it Avaya Attend VMworld, and you get this link right here to Avaya, you know, uh, VMworld 2012. And like I said, you can read more about it, all right? Um, but what I wanted to show you the difference is, here is a R2, and this actually is the same kind of inf interface for an R5.1.2, which is the last version I call it of Avaya Blue, which is this interface here. And this is the same interface they've had since... Gosh, release nine <laughs> on IP six hundred or uh, Definity one. Yes, back to those days. I, uh, those were my uh, those were my grandfather's systems. Those were the systems I worked on. Uh, I worked on the ones earlier than that. But I'm talking about the Eclipse, the Enterprise class IP solutions systems. Uh, they've had this blue interface for as long as I can remember. All right, but with R six, uh, and just to show you, here's the maintenance. Right, here's the maintenance side of it. But R6, they have what's called System Platform. Now, System Platform is... Excuse me. <laughs> that was my phone. Um, not on silent. Anyway, System Platform is essentially... Think of it like... I don't want to compare it to Cisco or, you know, Citrix or whatever. But essentially, what, what System Platform is is the OS on top of the OS, all right? So you have your your 8300 or your 8500 or your 80, so whatever, right? So you have your Linux backend that basically controls the server, kind of, sort of, right? But in the new version, system platform is basically the operating system that you load onto the servers once you get them, right? So they have Linux and all that built in. So that's really, it's, it's Linux operating system with all this system platform stuff configured in it. And then what you do is you have to load solution templates. And as you can see, I have one on here, which is CM, which is name of the virtual machine. And this virtual machine is communication manager. And when I click on that, actually what would come up is this, right? So, well, kind of, sort of. Here, let me show you what comes up. If I click on this, you can see I have to log in, blah, 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 blah. The admin and whatever my password is, I just happen to have the admin, All right? So you could use your cusp password. Anyway, but once you're in, you know, it, it's essentially kind of the same interface as the blue, except for the fact there's a lot of changes in the back end. Um, I now call it the Avaya Red, the true Avaya Red. Here's where you control your licenses, where you install licenses, uh, your messaging interface. This is how you actually interface with your 
uh, your voicemail system if you're using CMM, because AMM, Avaya or AAM, excuse me, Avaya or messaging sits on its own server, needs three hard drives and all that good stuff. But this is CMM. This is the embedded messaging, uh, as you can see here. And then you have your native configuration manager, which is basically just a Java version of your of this, right? Um, and then here's the server maintenance. This should look familiar to you because here's all the current alarms and restarts and all that stuff, right? So same as this here, current alarms, restarts, you know, things like that. So that's fairly similar, but again, it's got some updates to it. Uh, you can now have syslog access and all that stuff, right? But once you are in here, once you're in system platform, you can see it basically allows you to load different uh, different systems or CM versions on the on the uh, on the platform itself. So utility server, utility server is a new addition to R6, where it allows you to have your own DHCP server for your phone, your IP telephones, and uh, things like that. So if your customer doesn't have one, you could utilize this and say, "Here you go, put it its own VLAN, and boom, you have your own DHCP server for your IP phones." Okay, so. <laughs> That's the biggest differences. Another big, big, big difference is license management. Licensing used to be handled under what's called RFA, or Remote Field, a Remote Feature Activation. It's now handled under WebLM, or Web Licensing Manager. And what WebLM does is, is essentially allows you to load all your licenses that you can go download yourself uh, from what's called PLDS, or the delivery or the download source system, whatever. Um, it's a VIA's version of allowing customers to download their own licenses and install them on their own without interruption to their systems. Okay, so this is where you do that. So licensing is much different now. Um, licensing also has to be able to to basically verify everything that you get from PLDS, and then you have what's called SAL, Secure Access Link Gateway. And what SAL does, excuse me, whew, bad lunch today. <laughs> what SAL does is, like I said, ostensibly is you're now, SAL is your alarming system now, right? So you load this virtual software on your server. You can also put this on a standalone server, by the way. It allows access for anybody you choose. You can turn on and off access to your system. Um, it also allows Avaya access to your system when you have alarming and maintenance turned on. Uh, and, it, and it transmits over uh, the 443, the port 443, which is uh, basically the secure HTTP S protocol. So secure web is essentially how it alarms out. It sends alarms to the Avaya secure concentrator back at Avaya and handles all your expert system stuff that was traditionally over modems is now over uh, over this. So <sighs> there's a number of changes and what I'm doing here is really giving you a high level overview of the big differences between uh, release 5.1.2 and everything earlier and now 6.0 and possibly anything that's coming out newer. Um, so keep that in mind that there is a huge number of differences between uh, the earlier versions and now R6 and possibly the newer systems coming out. So be prepared for that. I tell anybody if you're going to get trained or you're going to get certification, I highly, highly, highly recommend you do it on R6 uh, because it's going to give you the newer platform or the new solutions uh, they're going to possibly well they are now out today and that are going to be coming out you know in the near future as well so uh, hopefully this was informative for you if you have any questions or you want to see anything specific on system platform or the interface to the maintenance you know things like that let me know in the description let me know on Facebook and I will be happy to uh, give you a more detailed description on any of these systems within R6, okay? All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like my Facebook page. I'm going to start getting active on that thing as well as my, as my YouTube. <laughs> all right, guys, talk to you later. Give me some love over there on Facebook, and I will talk to you all later. See ya.